welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Andre's cooking with us once again from Cebu. Uh, wow, I, I'm like eating this food right now, and I, I know I should have been putting it down. I should have put it down. Cebu cooking, and uh, I was, you know, you've been treating us to all these delicious treats, and we were talking about fresh. And the big thing for you too is you take the clients and you go and you purchase. You take them where it is that you are buying so exactly. many of Exactly. So what we do as a uh, part of our food tours is uh, to take people around the market and uh, have them discover their market. So we want when they leave that mm -hmm. they say, this is my market and I'll come again. So we show them where to buy the food and then we tell them the shopping period is after the tour is over. So, uh, and then what we do is uh, we take them uh, cooking in the kitchen after they've done uh, the shopping with us. With the things that you Not have purchased. Not every week, but right. sometimes we do that. So here we're making a savory bread, if I uh, may uh, continue yes, like that. absolutely. So what we do is it's like a making a muffin, very simple. So you throw the liquid ingredients into the dry ingredients. That was eggs? Eggs, milk, and a little bit of olive oil. So that's uh, in uh, flour. So I'm just going to mix it like that. Absolutely. It goes so very we're, easy. we're making a bread? Is that what we're a making? A savory loaf, like a banana loaf, mm -hmm. except here it has gruyere. Okay, some nice gruyere cheese. <gasps> so it's, it's like a pesto, you know? So what you do is you have uh, your pine nuts, your gruyere, your basil. Wow. And then uh, you have the, it cut in little squares here, so you'll have a little more flavors than just chopping it. You know, and then you have the basil and garlic, and then you throw that in, and this that's is, it. This is almost this the is opposite, though, of a muffin. You said, you know, like you're making what looks like it could be a muffin, but with the exact opposite flavors. Exactly. You know, it's with these savory. cheeses and these basil, it smells unbelievable. Exactly. So we're gonna put it in here, put it in the oven, and then uh, I can tell you that this is an easy. You saw five minutes. Yeah. It's done. And then what you can do is you can serve it with uh, an appetizer, cut it in little uh, different shapes. We've made little muffins here, and we have a loaf, a traditional loaf. This is, this is what it looked like. That's right. And then you can, what you can do as well is cut it in little strips, little triangles, and make it fancy if you want. And uh, serve it with a glass of uh, sparkling wine or a sparkling apple cider from Hull's Apples here in the market and um, you just decide how you want to do that. You put that in the oven for... Okay, I am I'm shocked at how fast you're able to do this, honestly. See? It takes no time. Just like this, it's done. It goes right in the oven, and then you can uh, start uh, start eating. How long would you give minutes. it? 30 minutes. 30 minutes Yeah, what? it depends on your oven. My oven's really fast. It takes about 20 minutes in mine, convection and so on, but 30 minutes uh, for the average oven, and then it works. That's wonderful. It's so different. Is it, in terms of you is it the recipes is it the combination of the fresh vegetables the fresh fruit that you're finding at the market that's fun for you it's the combination and trying to mix the different flavors for example this one here we put uh, some dried tomatoes mm -hmm. fresh peppers that I roasted and I just chopped them and then I put some uh, feta that I got from Clarmel and you see uh, here mm -hmm. there's a, a farmer that's right here in the market Clarmel and they have this wonderful feta and then you probably know you that. You know what? Huh? They were on the show. Uh, they were on the show not long ago. We were talking about uh, the, one of their events, and they brought this in, and I couldn't believe how good it was to just literally. They served it just chopping it up. It wasn't served with anything else, and it, it, it tasted like candy. It was so good. Exactly. So this is uh, one, and it was his goat cheese as well, right? That uh, yes. is his big uh, is. is the big yeah, exactly. cheese. I remember. Exactly. I remember. Yes. So again, so fresh ingredients. Uh, that's what we have in here. You can mix everything local into. your your savory bread and then just slice it and eat it. You can have it with soup and you can have it uh, with something else. The combinations, well. by the way, that hot tomato soup was fantastic. Oh, good. I know. Good, I, good, I needed good. to put it down for our segment, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, for people who are looking for more information, who want to get involved and who want to be able to take advantage of your services. So please go and see our website at uh, it's cboncooking.ca. Mm -hmm. We also have a, a Facebook page where we post a lot of our pictures about our cooking schools and our cooking events and our food tours. And, uh, and so they go there. CBONCOOKING.CA and they'll find us there. And congratulations, there's a big move coming, a new big yes. kitchen. So we're looking forward to getting more details on the advancement of your business in uh, in just a little bit. Thank you right? very much. Okay. Thank you so much. It was uh, delicious. Thank you. Thank we're going to take a short commercial break. Uh, we were talking about the Serbian festival. We'll have an opportunity after the commercial break to see some of these uh, young women dancing. That's next.